Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a de-esser in Studio One Pro. It's a new year. It's a new camera position. Boom. Look how different everything is. Actually, I did rearrange things, clean things up a little bit. All for you, dear viewer. So today we're going to talk about how to build a de-esser. But first, what problem is a de-esser trying to solve? The problem is too much sibilance. Sibilance is when your S's and T's are too loud. And it happens sometimes specifically in the mixing process. So why does it happen? Well, first of all, we use microphones that are fairly sensitive, typically, and have a nice high-frequency response, which tends to exaggerate those high-frequency bits, like S's and T's. Uh, but also, once we get into a mix and we use things like EQ and compression, especially compression, those tend to accentuate those frequencies a little more. So while everything else the compressor is doing to the sound is great, one of the negative byproducts is sometimes there's more sibilance. That's where a de-esser can come in. We would rather keep the compression as is and fix that little sibilant problem, which isn't that difficult to fix, versus backing the compressor down and changing the tone entirely. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's listen to it, and then I'll show you how to build it. Okay, here's a guitar vocal that I recorded with a single microphone. In fact, if you're a Persona's Sphere member, my Sphere exclusive video this month is showing you kind of behind the scenes of how I mix the song. Today, though, I'm going to show you the sibilant part. So first up, let me take all these effects off. Here's what the raw recording sounds like. So that say, that first word, it's already kind of loud. It happens with condenser microphones. So then when I add my fat channel, which has some EQ and compression, and another EQ to take care of some of the woofiness of the acoustic guitar, it starts to sound pretty good, but there's this, that sibilance is now exaggerated even more. Listen to the S from say and glad tidings. They're all pretty loud. Say one day the tidings be rich and song. Now to my ear, everything else sounds cool. The guitar is fuller and more forward. The vocal sounds cool, but those that sibilant part is the one thing I don't like. Luckily, we can fix that. So the tool that I like to use, there are a number of ways to do this in Studio One. We don't have a plugin called DSer, but we actually have many different ways to build one. I actually did a video showing you four different ways to build a DSer, but this is the kind of stuff that's worth reminding you about. So you take multiband dynamics, and when you first open it up, it's going to look something like this, where it's a five band or more. Is that five? Four, five. Anyway, multi, it's a many bands of, to do this, there we go, five bands of compression. We don't need five bands, we really just need two. So the way I get there is by just rolling these lower ones down until they go away, okay? Now, one thing you want to do is make sure you turn off the edit all relative knob or button. We want to adjust these individually instead of having them all move together. First thing I want to do is on this lower band, I want to turn the ratio down to one to one. So there's no compression happening at all. I don't want to mess with the low, mid, and high, mid frequencies. I just want to deal with the sibilant frequencies, which tend to be somewhere from 5K and up, sometimes a little bit higher. 5K and up, this is where I want to set up my DSing. But first, let's dial in, make sure we're listening to the right frequency. And we can do that by soloing this band and listening. Yeah, the loudest thing coming through this band is my sibilance. So we're going to, that feels like the right frequency. We can go a little higher, a little lower. But basically, you either listen to that to listen for the S's, or you mute this to, and listen to the rest of the frequencies and see if your sibilance is still there. Say one day the tidings be rich and yeah, those S's are really muffled. I'm not hearing much of the sharpness of them in the lower frequency, so I think this is the right frequency choice. So now what we do, let me show you the settings that I'll use really easily. Set the ratio to as high as it'll go, 20 to 1, the attack to 1 millisecond, the release to 10 milliseconds. We want to grab that sibilance as fast as possible. And then we just adjust the threshold, the low threshold here, 
till we get a good amount of de-essing. Now, one thing to do here, be sure you don't just let it knock down a couple of decibels of gain reduction and then leave it alone. A lot of times that's not enough. Use your ears, and if it ends up being 20 decibels of gain reduction, sometimes that's fine. Make sure you're listening to see what sounds best. So I'm gonna start with my threshold up here, and I'm just gonna pull it down until the S's sound more normal and less exaggerated. Say one day the tidings be Okay, this is a little bit too far. You can't really hear the S on say. One of the things I say about DSers, if you're, you know you're using too much, if the vocalist sounds a little bit like he or she has a lisp, so it sounds like I'm going they, what may the tidings be, um, that's too much of DSing. So we're going to bring it back up to let back in some of that s-ness that's there. Say what may the tidings be. That feels pretty good to me. Let's listen to a little bit longer piece of the audio, but that feels the right amount where I still hear the S, but it's not chopping my head off anymore. Say what may the tidings be Which inspire your heavenly song Yeah, I think that works. So let's bypass this now and listen to the result of our work. I'll start with it on, then I'll turn it off, and you'll hear that sibilance suddenly becomes... With, with the de-esser on, it just sounds like a normal vocal. With the de-esser off, it sounds pretty bad in those high frequencies. Say what may the tidings be Say what may the tidings That T is so much louder than everything else, and now it's fixed. And we don't hear the de-esser. That's the goal, not to hear what it's doing, just to hear a normal sounding vocal. If, you, if it sounds like a normal vocal, you've done the job well. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do so. We've got a lot of free content we put out every week. And if you're not already a Studio One Pro user, you can check it out at the shop at personas.com or become a Personas Sphere member where you get Studio One Professional and you get access to a bunch of extra goodies. Head over to personas.com to find out more. Thanks for watching. See ya.